neck so that he Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Hope you all are doing well. Like I told in my previous video, I am trying to take a few glimpses here and there. My parents have come to Muscat, you will know if you have watched my previous video. And in that video, I had spoken about mom preparing a few medicines for me. And ever since then, I have been receiving a lot of comments and emails regarding how to prepare that was not sure if anyone would need it and that's why I didn't show it in detail in that video but since a lot of requests came immediately as soon as I published that video I thought I'd post it as soon as possible My husband was having throat pain and I think it was because of the rain and the fluctuation in the weather here. His ginger coffee was getting ready which I guess I have done a video long back where I showed a lot of remedies for the winter season in fact. I shall share the link in the description box. Also my mom makes another homemade remedy for throat congestion which is one of the best medicines that she prepares at home. It's a bit spicy and also sweet. You will need dry ginger, long pepper, sugar lumps and black pepper for that. Just powder it and it's done. Again this I have shared in that same old video. Do have a look. I have shown it clearly on the measurements too in case you want to prepare it for yourself or your family. It might not be a very pleasant taste for kids as it's spicy and I did share a few tips for kids in that video. Now this powder stays for a long period, at least a month or two it stays without spoiling. But I would suggest to make in a small portion and have it 2 or 3 teaspoons every day and then finish it off. When mom was preparing this powder, the thought of preparing that bloating medicine came to my mind and that's how I included it in this video. Now this is how I have it and has helped me, so showing it in my version of how my mom prepares it for me. The ingredients you will need for this are long pepper, that's dry ginger, these are dill seeds, all these ingredients are very useful for digestion. These are ajwain or carom seeds. And then you will need black pepper. Along with this you will need jaggery too which I have not kept here. But for sweetness you will need jaggery. Now if you are a new mom, this is something that has to be taken in the first 7 days after your baby's birth. The quantity to be had is 2 teaspoons per day, 1 teaspoon in the morning, 1 teaspoon at night. The amount of ingredients to be taken is random. However, you will have to reduce the amount of long pepper, dry ginger and black pepper to the amount of carom seeds and dill seeds. Because the long pepper, dry ginger and black pepper, these are spicy ingredients. So you will have to reduce that to the ratio of how much you are taking the carom seeds and the dill seeds. As these are a little hard, my mother had crushed it in the mortar and pestle first then powder all these together in a strong mixer grinder now later to this powder you will have to add jaggery which is melted palm jaggery 
that is what's used here my mom will be adding it only at that time and let me tell you this is not just for new moms anyone having bloating issues can have this home medicine to get rid of bloating Later that night we went out to have dinner. It was a weekend so eating out is always exciting. Arman had a birthday party so he didn't want anything to eat. In fact, next day morning, we wanted to go out to have some South Indian veg breakfast. But as my husband wasn't feeling well, I quickly made dosa with ready-made dosa batter that I had bought a few days back from the market. To have along with dosa, I made my usual green coconut chutney and this recipe is again what my mom used to make during my childhood. Add coconut along with some warm water, then add green chilies, ginger, shallots, coriander leaves, curd and then go some salt. Blend well and keep aside. I boiled some eggs to have along. Just a whistle in the pressure cooker and it's done. I added some salt and vinegar to the water. Now to temper the chutneys, platter mustard seeds and fry some curry leaves. I didn't have dry chilies at that time, so do add them if you have. Then turn off the flame and add the coconut mix. Cover to lock the flavors. I added some hot water to the blender and then mixed it to add to the pot. The chutney is done. Now my mother-in-law's tip to remove shells easily. Remove the hot water from the cooker once the egg is done. Add some normal temperature water and shake it. The shells will get loosened and you can easily remove it.
slice each egg in half and keep aside. Melt some butter. So that the butter doesn't burn, I turned off the flame and added the spice powders. A bit of red chilli powder, very little turmeric powder, some black pepper powder and cumin powder. Mix everything well. Sprinkle some salt. Now place the eggs upside down. Turn on the flame to low medium. After a few minutes of frying, flip to the other side. Give a toss and that's done. For lunch that day, we went out to our favorite spot, Foodlands. Here my father had Kerala fish meals and mom had their signature mutton biryani. Then we went to Lulu for some shopping. I felt parents might be missing all these as they had been in the Middle East for a very long time. They are coming back to the Gulf after 4 or 5 years, I guess. For dinner, took them for having chaat and again veg cuisine at Gasitaram restaurant. So that's all for today's video and I hope you enjoyed watching it. See you all soon. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.